Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Donald Trump won the democratic debate last night. He, he wasn't actually there obviously, but he'll, he, but he'll have been sitting in his private quarters at the White House chuckling at what he was watching. In fact, he was enjoying it so much he didn't even bother tweeting his, un, his usual real-time derision. Perhaps he felt the candidates were damaging themselves enough without needing any help from him. For the cold, harsh reality is that right now, none of these Democrat contenders look anywhere near like beating Trump in 2020. Joe Biden is a clear front runner and was a private target for friendly fire attack last night, but he's looking and, so and sounding his age, and that's a massive problem for the party that wants to regain power next year. Biden's now 76, will be 77 in November, and 78 when he takes office if he wins the presidency. That will make him the oldest president ever elected for a, to a first time. And whilst I share the wi widely held view that Biden is a thoroughly decent, intelligent man with decades of Washington experience behind him, there's a very fine line between reassuring experience and over-the-hill elector electoral roadkill and he's in serious danger of crossing it. The killer moment last night for me was Julian Castro openly mocking Biden of his recent spa spate of embarrassing public forgetfulness. Are you forgetting what you said two minutes ago, Castro taunted as Biden struggled to articulate his health care plan. It was a brutal jab and exposed Biden's biggest weakness, his apparent age-related mental fragility. Nor did I think his response was very good. I'm fulfilling the legacy of Barack Obama and you're not. Biden snapped back at Castro. It was one of many things he's involved Obama's name during the debates and it's a dangerous strategy. Biden's nothing like Obama in style, rhetoric or especially youthful vigor and constantly reminding everyone that may turn out to be an act of massive self-harm. Later in the debate, in a strangely incoherent and rambling response to a question about his record on race, Biden urged viewers to make sure that you have to record player you have to record player on at night for kids sorry you what i'm 54 and i even and even i barely remember what a record player is he may as well have put on a pipe and slippers and purred about his gramophone biden said that inadvertently called Bernie Sanders president just as he had wrongly promoted Cory Booker at the White House in a previous debate. It's a dumb mistake to make once but it's a warning pattern to then do it again. And in a yet another awkward moment that quickly went viral on social media, Biden began gurning in a very weird way that looked like his dentures were breaking out of his mouth. This followed one of his eyes going bright, and bright red during CNN's climate change debate last week after a blood vessel broke, which is actually a sign of stress. And it also followed a string of other damaging missteps he's made since announcing the he was running, including confusing New Hampshire with Vermont, saying Bobby Kennedy and Martin Luther King were assassinated in the late 70s and recounted a story about a military ceremony in which he got almost every detail wrong. None of this in isolation would be particularly problematic, but when you put it all together, it adds up to a growing sense to Biden's losing it. It's not going, it's, I'm not going nuts, he insisted to Stephen Colbert last week in an appearance designed to quell, to quell the rumors that he is indeed going nuts. Perhaps not, but is he, like many people in their late 70s, going slightly senile? That is the urgent question do, uh, dogging Democrats today. And it's one Biden needs to counter strongly and competently without spilling more fuel on the feeble, on the feeble fire. But if I, were, if I were the Democrats, what would concern me even more than Biden's rather dithering performance would be his inability to excite an audience. Trump, love him or hate him, can whoop up a crowd like few in modern American political history. You don't have to agree with what he's saying to acknowledge his bombastic, dynamic, rabble-rousing communication skills. Trump's a brilliant marketer and, as he showed in 2015 and 2016, also a ruthless campaigner and a rally master. He knows his base and knows how to vow them and he and he's kept them at an unwaveringly fervent and consistent level of support ever since he won. If Biden's a Democrat nominee, as seems increasingly likely, he, see, he needs to motivate his support to come out and vote for him. And right now, he's not showing anything like the fire that I think the Democrats need to win. 
The reason for that may be as simple as the insalvageable onset of old age. Biden just doesn't look as physically or mentally lively as he was even four years ago. When I thought he should have run and win, as I wrote at the time, I genuinely thought he'd have had a better chance of winning than Hillary. Of course, Trump himself is no spring chicken and would be 74 on election day. But for all his often bizarre and erratic antics, there's clearly no issue with the president's energy levels. He'll be more at w- and he'll be more at whoever ends up facing him in 2020 with the force and volatility of enraged two-ton bison with a spear in its back. That's why Donald Trump was the real winner last night. He knows that Joe Biden is li- likely to be his opponent next year and he, was- and he also knows that Joe Biden is already struggling with the pace of this race. Trump is adept at seizing an- on an individual's weakness and exploiting it for his own gain. He, re- he revealed in Hillary's health issues towards the end of the last campaign, not least when she killed over in getting into a car and right now he's licking his lips with glee at what he's seeing. The challenge for the Democrats and for Joe Biden is how, they en- how to energize themselves enough to combat a rampaging political beast intent on giving them another humiliating kicking at the ballet box. At the moment, it just isn't happening. And if they don't fix that very soon, Trump's getting re-elected. That is it for today's news, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.